So hello guys. So now I will explain to you all how to do the past year question which is question 5 correctly. So I hope you understand and enjoy this video. So for the question 15 from past year, when we read the question, we know that this question have four keyword which is name, describe, draw and state. So we have to name the bonding theory that explain the orbital hybridization. Next, we have to describe the hybridization of central atom in FF6 and H2CO. Then, we have to draw the orbital overlap of each molecule which is FC6 and H2CO. Then, we have to state the expected bond angle for them. So now, the bonding theory that explain orbital diagram is valence bond theory. So when you answer this question, you will get one mark. So now, we have to determine the hybrid orbital for the SF6. So now, we have to draw the Lewis structure and predict the molecular geometry shape using the SEPR. So we will get one mark for the Lewis structure and actually we predict the molecular geometry shape to ease us for the next steps. Okay, so now we will describe about the SF6 hybridization. So when we refer to the FF6 Lewis structure, we know that SF6 have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sigma bond. Then the molecular shape is octahedral and the type of hybridization is sp3d2. So for the central atom, sulfur, which is sulfur, the ground state, here we just have 2 unpaired orbital but we need 6 unpaired orbital to form sigma bond, to form 6 sigma bond. So now we have another 4 which is some orbital from here need to excited here which is uh, for the excited state which is uh, 3s uh, 1 orbital from the 3s we excited here to the 3d orbital and 1 pair this one will excited here to form 6 unpaired electron to generate 6 unpaired electron so for the hybrid state all the orbital here need to blend which is 1 3s orbital, 3 3p orbital and 2 3d orbital uh, hybrid to generate a new set of 6 sp3d2 hybrid orbitals. So here for the mark when you show the ground when you show and describe the ground state you will get one mark and when you show and describe the excited state you will get one mark and when, when you show hybrid state you will get one mark and also don't forget to show the terminal atom to show the ground state of terminal atom which is fluorine to get the, another one mark ok now we will draw the uh, orbital overlap for SF6 so we know that uh, so we have to label first for the sulfur which is central atom and the terminal which is fluorine so why the fluorine is uh, why the shape of fluorine is like this because the fluorine is 2p so the shape is the dumbbell shapes so we have to label the 2p at all the terminal atom So we know the type of hybridization of uh, sulfur is sp3d2. So we have to label it. So the overlap of sp3d2 orbital and 2p orbital will form a sigma bond. So we have to label the sigma bond here. And don't forget about the electron. So to get a full mark uh, when drawing the orbital, 
we have to take care about the shape, label, bonding and bond angle. So for the shape, it's correct and label, I think I label all of this, determine the atom, the central atom, type of hybridization, sigma bond and also bond angle. So for the bond angle, we have to state the bond angle which is 90 for this orbital diagram and draw it here so for the bonding the type of hybridization is sp3d2 so that's all for the sp3d2 orbital for sf6 so in order to describe the hybridization of h2co we need to draw the lewis structure of h2co first so when you draw the h2co lewis structure you will get one mark and for the vsepr we draw it to ease us in the next step so now we will describe about the hybrid hybridization of h2co so when we see the lewis structure of h2co we know that the structure have three sigma bond and one pi bond so now when we see the ground state of car atom carbon we knew that the atom carbon just have two unpaired electron but we need four more electron to form three sigma bond and one pi bond so one electron from 2s need to excited to 2p orbital which is when we see at the excited state of carbon one electron one electron from 2s orbital is excited to empty 2p orbital to generate four unpaired orbit electrons so when hybrid state of carbon 1 to s orbital and 2p orbital are hybridized to generate a new set of 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals so for the ground state of atom oxygen 2 unpaired electrons are needed to form 1 sigma bond and 1 pi bond so when a hybrid state of oxygen 1 to s orbital and 2p orbital are hybridized to generate a new set of 3 sp2 hybrid orbital so don't forget to show about the ground state of hydrogen so for the mark here we have to show the ground state of carbon excited state of carbon hybrid state of carbon ground state of carbon at ground state of atom oxygen hybrid state of atom oxygen and ground state of uh, atom hydrogen in case to get the six mark so that's all so for orbital diagram for H2CO okay, that we see there the type of hybridization is sp2 so for the orbital diagram we know that the we have to label the termi, uh, central atom and also the terminal atom so here is carbon oxygen and here is hydrogen for the orbital diagram for H2CO, we have 5 marks. So, for the shape, label, bonding, bond angle, and pi bond. So, this is the correct shape of uh, orbital diagram for H2CO. Then, for the label, we have to label, we have to label the sigma. Also, the central atom and terminal atom. And also, the type of hybridization and so for the bonding we know that the type of hybridization is sp2 and for the bond angle um, because of the S, there's no lone pair so the bond angle between this is 120 and here to here a 120 degree so for the extra mark is the pi bond don't forget to label the pi bond so that's all. Uh, in, so that's all in order to get the five mark. So thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.